Wings Wake Up with the Bobcat Show. Good morning. It's Bobby May Cat Chase hanging out with you all the way till 10 as we are joined with a very special special guest. I want you to introduce yourself with your with your roller derby name, though. Okay, my name is Banshee Bar Brawler. There we go. Actually, <laughs> formerly known as Barbara. How are you today? Good. How are you? Very, very well as you are in here talking to us about the Spring Fling. Uh, you're with the Highway 14 Roller Derby Association. Uh, we're here to talk about what's going down in Holden uh, on Sunday, June 2nd. Should be a pretty fun event, hey, Cap? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a blast. And uh, for those that maybe don't know what roller derby is um we we're just talking off air about how like the only thing i know about roller derby is what i've seen on tv and you say that down in the states they do is something different than what they do up here in canada well there's a couple different variances of roller derby now it's had quite the evolution since it was created in the 40s um it's not what you see on tv um it was not what i watched on tv in the 70s and 80s it is a legitimate sport we play up in canada on what we call flat track which is a just basically a track drawn onto cement um or any other surface that we can find. Um, what you see on TV is Hollywood doing the flat or the uh, bank track, uh, and they tend to embellish a little bit on what the sport looks like. Well, I guess they have to do that for TV to make it dramatic and of things course, happening. Of yes. course, and not to say that there aren't yeah. some leagues down the states that still do the theatrical stuff, and that's great. Yeah, but um, we don't. Yeah, so if anybody, like uh, you were mentioning that uh, you're looking to uh, create a team in Wainwright, so if people are interested in uh, doing a roller derby, it's it's not a kind sport, if you would like. There's uh, there's there's body contact involved. Absolutely, it is a full contact sport. It's one of the few full contact sports for females left. And that's why I'm telling Kat to do it because you are you're getting <laughs> yeah. ripped with amped up fitness, you know. Yeah, and but I it's, it's the roller skates that gets me. Yeah. I've been on roller skates. <laughs> It's a, it's a physical Years. sport, and there are rules and regulations. There's, uh, of course, refs. Are there refs? There are seven refs per game. Okay, per so, I mean, game. people are keeping their eye on Absolutely. what's going on, and there's strict regulations yeah. and, and rules. the girls have up. to pass benchmarking, which okay. is basically a certain minimum skill set you have to have before you're allowed to go into a mm -hmm. game, and that's for their safety as well as the safety of everybody else around them because as they're flailing, as a new person falls, yeah, they tend yeah. to take out everybody in the process. Oh, yes. yeah. So tell us, doing that. tell us a little bit about, you know, why you got involved with roller derby in the first place. Like, what really made you take action to join it up join up um i actually watched roller derby as a kid mm -hmm. and yeah. i thought it was fantastic my mom thought it was just the greatest thing yeah. ever and then it kind of disappeared for decades pretty much and um when the team uh, was created in edmonton it was the first team in canada that was created really they um started recruiting and one of the people who was joining us was actually a client of mine and she suggested i try but uh, it happened just as we were moving away. And so when we came back, she phoned me that day and she said, I know you're back. I know you want to do this. And I did. And it's taken over every aspect of my life, my business side, my personal life. Everyone in my family plays. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Good stuff. So, I mean, it's just, it's kind of a sport that a lot of people don't really consider. I mean, we've got hockey, soccer, lacrosse, all that type of stuff. But this is something new that people could definitely uh, try out. Now, if you want to get your first taste of this, this is all going down in Holden, June 2nd. Uh, I guess we could talk about what's going on there. Yeah, so what do you have planned for that day? So June 2nd is actually an invitational bout, and what this is is we have invited players from all across the province who are at a certain skill set. So it's going to be more of um, an intermediate to advanced game that you, people would be seeing. And so it's made up of people from as far away as Grand Prairie, Lethbridge, Cold Lake, Edmonton, all over the place, and they are some of the best of the best in the province that are coming out to play. So people will be watching a really good game. All right, so you kind of get a feel for if you're maybe interested, you don't exactly know what it is, then you can uh, go watch it and see if it's something that uh, you want to take on. Absolutely, and we're going to have a sign-up sheet there as well. If people want more information or if they want to come out and give it a try, they can sign up. I'll contact them. And we have some loaner gear available for people if they want to give it a try because nothing's worse than buying all the gear and then going, oh, my God, I hate this sport. Yeah. So, you know, if you don't mind somebody's old stinky gear for one try, you can come and give it a try. It's a great way to vent frustration because you can hit people legally. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good, very good point. <laughs> awesome. So if people want tickets uh, or if people want more information, how can they go about doing it? Um, well, the ticket sales are available online through Brown Paper Tickets until Friday evening. Okay. And then they can be bought at the door as okay. well. Okay, Perfect. 10 bucks in advance, uh, 15 at the door. Should be a pretty sweet event. And children 10 and under are free. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So the kids can come and check it out, too. It's a whole family event. Should be a lot of fun. Spring Fling happening Sunday, June 2nd at the Holding Complex, uh, 5123 50th Street. I'm going to Drake Cat there, and I'm going to make her do a trial run. Good. I don't good. care what I'm anybody says. It. Awesome. I care what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Barbara, thank you so much for coming in today, thank and you. thank you for the shirt. She brought us uh, roller derby shirts, too, yes. and stuff, and uh, I'm a radio announcer, so I don't have a many of those. So... <laughs> 
I appreciate it. Barbara, thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Barbara. That's awesome and not going to lie to you whatsoever. I've got a handful of tickets, tons of tickets to that event. Yeah, so we want to give them away. So if you would like to go to this roller derby spring fling in Holden on Sunday, uh, it all starts at 2 o'clock. Uh, that's when the door is open. Give us a call. 806-5858. Starters, salads, pasta, pizza.